And I can't think of anything more like anxiety inducing as like, you know, ever you ever gone into like the McDonald's? This is good podcast talk. <laughs> let's just start. Let's just start. Let's just start. Okay. This is Buffer Bodies, episode 81. I'm Jared from Up Down Left Eye. I'm Tiffany from Up Down Left Eye. I'm Fava Lava at Fava Lava Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do something, right? Uh, <laughs> Said she's not muted. I don't know what's happening. Um, I'm just going to assume. I'm going to assume we have uh, a Runya, Chris Alberti, you have to sing and it. You have to sing it. Se- oh, we have Chris Alberti and a Runya and Sechiyami in chat mode. Boop doop boop. <laughs> okay, uh, we're watching um, this is Buffer Buddies. If you know what this is, if you've been just told about this ep- this podcast, highly recommend listening to episode 79 if this is your first time around. I thought that was a really good episode. Um, but what this is, it's a movie night podcast similar to How Did This Get Made or maybe Mystery Science Theater, but it's completely improv and it's live during the movie, slightly different from those podcasts. And it's it's a it's a collaborative event that we host in our Discord for our community members. And you could join too by going to BufferBuddies.com where you can find out more information and how to get here and you could suggest and vote on which movies we should watch there uh tonight though we are watching the mighty ducks classic not really part of my childhood because i mostly watched mighty ducks 2 for some reason don't know how that happened but that's that's the one that i know uh i'm gonna hit play on this so we could get going hit play on this so we can get hit going. play on this smash that play button also by the way i listened to the ep- like the last episode i listened to at 1.5x speed, and I feel like that is a good speed to listen to this podcast on. Um, because my brain is equivalent of four YouTube videos going on at once, uh, I prefer <laughs> two, two speed. But you have to work your way up to two speed, so I get yeah. that. But I think if you're like a new person, you're like, this podcast two hours long. I, I guess that's true. I can't do that. I recommend 1.5. If you like it faster, go faster. But I, I think like fast. this is... I know a lot of podcast creators are like, oh, how dare you listen to it at faster speed? I just can't imagine someone spending two hours <laughs> not watching a movie. So I just like it's just a problem of it's a symptom of the of the, the of the thing that you should really speed it up. Um, but yeah, do we want to continue the conversation we're having before this? Um, I, I do want to confess something that okay. I did a yeah, big oopsie Yeah, let's on. get this out of the way because when you said you're like, I have to tell you something, it's bad. I got like anxiety through the roof and so it's, I need yeah, to know. It's not, it's not like, it's, it's more like I'm afraid I'm going to hurt your feelings. I don't, you're making it so much worse. <laughs> so, um, I, I, I guess I'm just going to confess it. Um, I was trying to get you a custom cake for your birthday. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I waited. Let's see how this turns out bad. Because that sounds like a I good thing. I waited way too late. Oh no! To try to get these people, because I don't want to go through my that lady that I went through last time because she was super unresponsive. Yeah, that's so I'm worse. trying to go to these like more higher end places, but Fancy. everything is just like, oh, I'm sorry, we can't do your cake because. I hate that it's, guy. <laughs> Screw. <that. laughs> because yeah, we they, did watch we watched your Twitch stream and listen to your podcast and we just we just cannot morally like, we what, cannot. Kind of, yep. what kind of cake is this? Oh, birthday cake? Oh, that's great. It's so thoughtful of you. Who's this for, Jared? Oh, F him. Screw that. Get, get out and but, he slammed the door. But in your face. The funny thing the funny thing is that they said that they'll make a cake for Derek, but not for Jared. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's my confession but i'll make something or okay. i'll figure this well, that's out that's not nearly that bad you tried <laughs> that's honestly more than i'm doing for myself well i mean like you know like I, the fact that i <laughs> i planned better for a stupid park party that's true you know what it was for a fake guy <laughs> for good dlc not even a full game the dlc for a game um, but we'll see. We'll see if well, this my, my thing comes is always my mom, my parents are like, "What do you want for your birthday?" And I'm like, "I don't know." <laughs> like, 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 what do you want to do? And I'm like, 
I don't know, birthday, birthday. <laughs> love, <laughs> survive <laughs> another year. Like, I have no idea. Like, I, I it's not <laughs> that I don't like birthdays. I'm not one of those people like, eh, birthday, I hate it. I just like, it's, it's just, it is literally just another day. And I, I really don't know like what I want from myself, mm-hmm. like to make you that. Are- very hard to shop for, by the way. You're extremely hard to shop for. I get. I I I, I used to be like, no, I'm not. I'm pretty easy. Just go to like Think Geek. But then I'm like, you know what? Most of that stuff is garbage. <laughs> yeah, just, especially yeah. especially now. One, you think everything is garbage. Yeah. Two, you only like practical things. Yeah, yeah. Well, but my thing is also, like, I never. I'm not ever mad if someone gets me like a Think Geek thing. I'm like, oh, neat. But it's like I love practical things. Like you yeah. give me something practical and I'm using it every day because that's someone who's got me something and I'm just like. Like, this is the best gift. I use this all the time. I love it. It's such a good gift. Like, those are, like, good gifts, you know? But if you give me, like, something like, oh, neat, a desk thing. Like, that's a neat desk thing that I'll probably have to throw away in a few years because it's clutter. You know, it's like, and that's not fun, you know? But, like. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, I'm not, I don't think I'm hard to shop for. I'm hard to shop for and get something that's, like, a perfect gift. Yeah, you do agree in that case. But if you're, like, cat thing, like, you can't really. You're, I, you know, you got me that gift bag of, like, cat stuff that year, two years ago. Great, yeah. fantastic. It's that, but that's, but you also scarred me because you're just, like, it's like you just bought, went on Amazon and <laughs> searched cat, cat things cat and things. bought it all. And so I was like, well, <laughs> all right, then. Well, I'll, just, I, I'll just go die. I got one. How many USB C cords do you have? Probably not enough because I keep losing them. There you go. I'm just going to get you a gift card to Micro Center. (laughs) I mean, it's not wrong. (laughs) That's what my parents are always like, what do you want? And like, my thing is, like, I don't want much, but I need a few things. But the things I need are hundreds of dollars. So what I've always told my, my parents, I'm like, it's nothing that you're going to buy me. <laughs> it's like, but I do need this thing. And like, we'll just oh get you money. God. And I'm like, thank you, because I could just go give me 50 bucks and now that thing is 50 bucks cheaper. I don't know. That's just kind of been my... I just like, everyone give me a couple bucks and then I'm going to go buy the one thing that I actually want. from. And that's kind of what I've been doing to my, my family. It kind of makes it easy on everyone. Yeah, I'm kind of like that, too, because I was like, the things that I want, I could buy myself. The things that, I mean, with money, (laughs) but the things that I want you to buy me that I'm not embarrassed for you to buy me, uh, you know, like, it's a different thing. Um, so this movie, uh, Mighty Ducks, what is it? What do you, has everyone seen this? I, Mm. like, have, but I don't remember the, like I said, so... I don't know, like, why, but we had Mighty Ducks 2 in, as a VHS, and I do remember watching that several times, but it was just Mighty Ducks 2. I don't think we owned any of the other ones. So I've seen them, but I've watched Mighty Ducks 2 multiple times. I think I've only seen this, like, once or twice because it's this weird thing because in Mighty Ducks 2, he's nice. But that's the thing is, like, his origin story. That game, that story, that Mighty Ducks 2 is a different story. My next one is all about the main coach guy, Michael so J. Fox, my, like, because like, he's like a jerk, apparently, in this one. But like, I don't, so I don't know my, anything. Mighty Ducks 2 is a spinoff of Mighty Ducks 1. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or a so, sequel. But, but, but like, do, does like Michael J. Fox like make the make an appearance? Like, oh. what's the he's still the he's still the he's still the coach, but he's nice. But so it's like, is it like an alternate reality? You know what no, I mean? No, because like, no, he learns to like the children warm his cold heart and he learns to love again. By eating them or how does that work? I don't know. I haven't seen this movie, Tiffany. Oh, I don't I remember. I thought we were talking about Mighty Ducks 2. No, Mighty Ducks 2, he's spin-off. already nice. He's already nice. Oh, so, it, okay. I understand. I understand now. Do you think they're, so, so this is Mighty Ducks. And then the, the Mighty sequel Ducks. is Mighty Ducks. This is the Mighty Ducks. And then the second movie is the Mighty Ducks 10 2, right? Do you too. I can't hold it in any longer. I have to say it. <laughs> the Mighty Cucks. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I. Oh, yeah. Chris, I'm sorry. Um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Chris, uh, Chris Alberti, he made us a really cool poster. I think I shared it on our, I think it's pinned on our Facebook page for uh, Buffer Buddies. It's really nice. It's a really good poster. I think I got to put that on the website somewhere. I don't, I got to figure out where that will go. 
poster. It's a good, a good little poster. Reminds you guys that we start at 8 p.m. Um, Pacific time um, and all that stuff. Also, what we were talking about before the podcast that I was like, this is a good topic for conversation. I was talking about how in Japan, a lot of the doorways and stuff are lower than in America. And there was like a, there was a train station, a subway station or whatever you want to call it. And it goes, it's like, it's like underground or it goes far or whatever. And it's, the ceilings are like pretty low. Like if I, I'm short, I'm like five, six ish. Um, if I raise my hands up, I would like touch the ceiling if I wanted to. And that's like how low it is. It made me a little uncomfortable. It's like almost a little claustrophobic. But I had a friend who was like, oh, Japan, I hit my head on all the doorways. And I was just thinking, I'm like, well, if I could touch the ceiling in here, he must be bending over. That's and crazy. I, and I was, so I was thinking, it was like, it must be like if you ever went into like the playpen, the McDonald's playpen thing when you're a little bit older, like too big for it. And you had to like scrunch over. I was like, that would be his whole thing. There, with other adults like i don't know i don't know and be like where, i'd just be like when's the, where's the train where's the train where's the? i'd just be like looking for i'd just be looking for the next train station just so i could sit down and like not be trapped in that position like i don't know because it's like what if you got what if your back like got like a cramp you can't stand up straight you just can't there's no, it, not possible i think that scares me it's like being underwater or something you should just squat the whole time instead of bending over I guess. I guess you could do that too. It's just like you'd have. There's no way you could be in a relaxed position, though, right? Like you're either bending over or squatting. It seems so terrible. So that was just crazy to me. The the thought of that is like crazy to me. It would be a perfect thing for me because I am so short over there. Yeah, you'd be normal. You're like this is fine. This- I I am I am normal. Mm, I don't uh, know. He's, he said you, you'd be normal there. Yeah, you'd be I, normal there. Why am I yeah. not, I'm he, not normal? He doesn't think you're normal, <laughs> Tiffany. He's he's um, discriminating. Right oh, no. Oh. Where's, In this podcast. You know what? Derek would be a good ally for short <laughs> oh. people. Derek's yeah. not here. Why? What happened? What'd you do to Derek? He's just not here. He ha- he's busy. Uh, he's going to it? a feminist rally. <laughs> <laughs> What an ally. Der- Der- what Derek a- is the, the unsung hero of Buffer Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put him on our our poster. <laughs> what is so what are these kids doing? They put money in a wallet. I forgot. I do remember this scene being this is weird. They're bad kids from what I'm getting. Like they're little, they're pranksters, they're jokesters. Impractical jokers? Yeah. Okay, so Oh, so he's he found the. How, why would he slam on his brakes? I would never have seen that. That'd be so hard to see. I don't like. Um, speaking of brakes, I don't like uh, bike brakes where the brakes are on the handlebars. That's where they always are. I mean, you're talking no, about the, if you, pe- you, you if know you the backwards pedal pedally ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah those suck though. I mean, if you go fixed gear, you could do that. But it like hurts my hands. Wow, this guy's crazy. This guy's insane. Wow, it's a sped up. It's like Jared at the end of the Cuphead. <laughs> <laughs> but only ninety. I can't kids believe know. they. It's so weird that they put this in a movie. Like sped up footage is weird. Wow, that kid looks like a person I work with. Is that a kid or a grown-up? He was driving a car, but he looks super oh, young. maybe he was a grown-up. Yeah. That he was might have been like a face. teenager. Does, who, so who's this actor? Is that Michael J. Fox? Yeah, Michael J. Fox. Why does he look CG? Because he's super young. He's just oh. perfect, like. But yeah, like his face is like poreless and like his eyes are like so like. He's probably like, like 21 in this movie. So yeah, old. but I've, I've met 21-year-olds that don't look like they're CG. You know what I mean? Like. In this movie in particular. It was a different time back then. 21-year-olds had better diets and skin. I guess so. He just looks so plastic to me. Yeah. I would like a quote of your cakes, please, website. (laughs) Please load. So, is he rich or something? Because I don't remember him being rich in the second movie at all. We're so off. It's not even Michael J. 
<laughs> Are you serious? No, that's a lie. It's a hundred percent. It is. All right. It. He kind I'm of looks like now. Wash. I don't believe you. There's... He looks like Wash from um, uh, Serenity. Not Serenity. Yeah, Serenity, but the Firefly. He's a, it's got to be Michael J. Fox. Uh-oh. Did Am you I just going... Tiffany wreck yourself? No, well, oh, no, I think I Berenstein Bears myself. What's his character's name? Uh, Gordon Bombay. Is that him? That's it's Emilio, Emilio Estevez? Estevez? What? That, uh, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what movie did you watch? I don't know. I, well, maybe I just, I guess I was a dumb kid and I didn't know who the hell. I thought that was Michael J. Fox. What? He, Wait, who is this guy? Emilio Estevez. Emilio Estevez. Oh my god. I guess I'm dumb. I don't know. I just never. I, wow. I guess as a kid, I thought that or for some reason and I just never questioned it. Let it it looks be like him, no? Record. They look the same to me? They look the same Maybe. to me. Maybe. I don't know. I have uh, face blindness. Um, so he kind of looks like the bad guy from <laughs> Mr. Robot. Yeah, totally. Tyrell. Yeah. I don't, man, I'm like, I have to reconcile all these memories. <laughs> what does Michael J. Yeah. Fox look like during this time? What year is this movie? 92. 1992. Uh... He's a Parkinson's guy, right? Yeah, he has Parkinson's. Uh, I guess now. if you want to refer to him that way. Dude, he was so funny in um, Curb Your Enthusiasm. That's like, a good show. I don't like that show that much. I, I've tried it a few times. I'm like, I can't get into it. But there was a part where, um, what's his face? The main character, like, goes to his house. He's, like, apologizing for something. And then, like... I think he was like he's, he's being a jerk like he normally is you know that's part of his character in the show but then Michael J. Fox like gives him like a diet soda and then like he, and then the, the jerk guy opens it and it explodes and then he goes what the heck and then he's like Parkinson's and it was so funny because it's like he shook it up intentionally but he has this he has this perfect defense of just blaming it on oh, Parkinson's and so I thought that was really funny of him to like Include, lean into yeah, it. Yeah, lean into it and use that as a, like you know, not not be afraid to like use that for a joke. That that yeah. totally looks like him. Okay, so I'm not crazy. Chris has posted Maybe. a photo of Michael J. Fox from 1992, and they look identical. The hair is slightly different. So I I I, don't, I wouldn't say identical. Identical. It looks like they're twins. Michael J. Fox could be. They could be related. I wouldn't say uh, identical. Nope. You know what? They're probably separated at birth, and they just <laughs> they just never realize that the other person on the screen. Like they're like, wow! I don't remember being in this movie. Oh well. Uh, let me <laughs> let me ask you guys this question because it came up. You know the phrase "brother from another mother" mm -hmm. or uh, "sister from another mister." Yes. Does that imply that your you your brother from another mother or your sister from another s mister are your step step brothers? Your no, your half half, half sibling? brothers. Yeah, half. Yeah. Is that what that implies? No, I always. It does not, or it does? No, but it, you know what? It's, you, it is you can interpret it. it. It's ambiguous enough. Yeah, because that came up where I called. <laughs> um, so there was a picture that my friend posted of me, my, my brother and my, me. my Asian friend, and then my white friend. And we were all, we took a family portrait, basically. And then I said that my white friend she was like, oh, like, this is like a weird family picture. And I was like, oh, he's the FedEx kid. And she, she didn't know what that meant. I don't know what so that she, means. Yeah, so what is that? I always thought it meant that it's the, the kid that sh got shipped to the family that showed up from a FedEx package. That's what I always thought it meant. But that's not a real so, thing, though. So, so, <laughs> like, so, she looked up, so, she, so she looked up FedEx kid. Um, and... Uh, she there was like a the hashtag on Urban Dictionary that says brother from another mother, sister from another mister or whatever. And then she's like, Oh, but that would imply that your friend um is like your half slip sibling. And I was like, Does that imply that? I don't think Absolutely so. Absolutely wrong. Unfriend her on Facebook right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is incorrect. <laughs> Yeah, so dead to like, me. yeah. They, and she's like, and I don't know. So that that came up. That definitely came I up. I think if you had someone who was your half brother, and then you said brother from another, 
Mother. Mother. Yes. Then it works for that case, but it's not implied directly. It's ambiguous because they never talk about the other parent. So you don't know. You, it works for both your your step siblings and half siblings. Yeah, it, yeah. But it, it guess it wouldn't it'd f- fall apart though if you brother from another daddy doesn't really work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it loses the rhyme even though yeah. they're still technically your half brother. So it only kind of works for that one specific scenario. Unless you're you're like not a good kid so you can be like baddie from another daddy. <laughs> there you yep. go. Yep. And then that works for both brother and sister cuz that's the other problem with the other one is like brother from another that's too mother binary. you have to it has to, it could be only your brother and it has to they have to have the same dad. But it's sister from another mister so again same dad no, same mom in that case. Yes. But what if they're this not a very baddie? Confusing. What if they're a goodie? Goodie from another Judy. Goodie. No, ju- goodie from another Judy, so your mom has to be named Judy. That's that's <laughs> very ju- specific. I know it doesn't work. Yeah, I, it's just it's there's too many things and then there's just like all these like identities and it's just like there's just too much. I I oh. I Declare that that phrase bankruptcy. Is from the <laughs> what you inspired me? How about <laughs> they from another bay? Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> what was that? That's they from another bay. Oh yeah, it's actually quite um, progressive. <laughs> yep. It's very inclusive yeah. and it's very flattering, to be honest. She from another he. Wait, isn't that what we needed? One of those. She from the Are you saying ones? she? Oh, uh, sister from another mister is already a she from another. Oh yeah, mister. yeah, yeah. We would need one for the. It's opposite. We have ones for opposing genders. We would need ones for sa- same gender, for same gender, and it gets really confusing. It gets really messy. It's a, we need a punnant square. I mean, this is. Yeah, can we go one say, like, podcast uh, without getting a punnant square out? We just too many, too many punnant squares. Find out next time. Yeah, we got to this is one of the things where it's like if I knew people were like, oh, oh man, I'm going to buy that shirt. I'd probably make a Punnett Square shirt and put like Punnett Square graphics up on the website. But I don't think people I don't think people just even listen. <laughs> 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 so there's that's a lot of work for me. Um, oh, my gosh, oh, my lights s- keep flickering and it's oh, me, t- me too. Oh, OK, cool. It's what, not J- just me. Christina, Jared's lights are also. Well, is it like because uh, you guys are in the same area? Yeah. Or are you guys like? Well, it's the the Discord calls coming from inside the house. Oh no! Oh god! Discord should tell you that. Turn off all the lights. Discord should tell you that if you're in a call with somebody else, they should highlight them and be like that. This call is coming from inside the house. And then oh, that way man. you're like, oh, but his his Discord name is Killer, and you're like, what? Yeah, uh oh. This movie's funny because uh, there's a part that we were talking over, but the the Goldberg guy f- farted in the car, and everyone went Goldberg. It was what fun. a Goldberg! Yeah, what a I forgot that was the thing. Like you could you used to be able to go to school and be like, stop being such a Goldberg, and everyone knew what you're talking about. Oh. I so have kind of, no idea what you guys are talking about. You'd be like, stop farting, Tiffany. You're being a Goldberg right now. Oh, but I don't want to be a Goldberg. Yeah, that's right. That that's right. You don't want to be a Goldberg. At least you got the the you you figured out the uh, context clues. But 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 but. Hmm. You know, I I think I've only ever used someone's last name like seriously as as their like identity once in my whole life. I have been introduced to people by their last name and I get so shocked when I learn their first name. Uh, we have a friend. Uh, I'm just going to call him out. We have a friend we call Hunter because that's his last name. His name, I thought his first name was Hunter until someone or until he told me and I went, no, this is a lie. You are lying to me. <laughs> it's, You're it's, pranking me. Yeah. And he's yeah. like British too. So I was like, is this like a British thing? Like what? Is it like, like, is it like Fred? No, Aww. it's not Fred. I want it to be something like a noun, so like he could be the hunter of that object or whatever. Okay, 
in my mind, okay, t- tangent or off topic, real fast, I guess. In my mind, whoa, oh, that is a cool <laughs> name. Holy it, crap! In my mind, um, this this movie was very associated with the "We Will We Will Rock You" song from that band, Queen or whatever. <laughs> We will rock you that by one, Queen. One Are you by sure? Way. Do you need to look it up? I think I know? might need to look up because here's the, here's the thing. In my mind, or from my perspective, this movie made that song in the same way Shrek made <laughs> All Star. All Star. Oh wait, is it All Star? Uh, oh no! Now I have to look Smash it up. Smash Mouth. Smash <laughs> Mouth. Smash Mouth's the band, though. Yeah, but what's the song? Is it an All Star? I'm, yes, I'm not yeah. sure. I, everything I, I'm saying, I feel like it's a lie now because your head gets it. smart. Yeah, it, but, but your, your, your brain, brain gets, gets dumb. dumb. Only so much to do, <laughs> so much to see. <laughs> so what's wrong with taking the back streets? You never know you if never you know go. if you don't go. Oh <laughs> you never <my> shine. <laughs> you never <laughs> shine if you don't glow. <laughs> what a what a surprise! We we were joined by. Uh, he, he said stuff early. He said Smash Mouth. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's oh, introduce said, him. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Give me a second. Everyone, wait. Give me a second. Yeah. I gotta I gotta okay. mess with some <laughs> dials oh here. Uh, <laughs> let's see. It's this one. Oh, okay. Um. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the ring. ring, coffee, coffee boy. boy. There you go. Thank you. Welcome to Peter. Glad to be here. <laughs> That's, what a good, what a good wrestling man. Yeah, I think on the podcast it wasn't all cutting out, so I'm just gonna edit that. Um, <laughs> edit the uh, podcast. Yeah, what? I have to do a little bit. <gasps> so, so, uh, so, um. Blue Mountain State is one of my favorite TV shows. It's oh a very yes. problematic TV show that is, would not fly now. It's yes. very, very, very bad. Uh, it's still one of my favorite TV shows. Uh, maybe that says stuff about me. I don't know. But they released a movie called Thadland, and Thad is one of the characters. And one of my favorite things that I t- I've taken away from that movie that I use today is they were interviewing him. And he's kind of a dumb, egotistical kind of guy, a football player uh, who became like quarterback and stuff like that. And they go, thank you for coming or like, thank you for coming to interview with us today. And he, his response, because normal responses are, uh, thanks for having me. Right. Like, Jared, if I was like, oh, thanks for coming. What would you say? You're welcome. You're lucky I'm here. So, so, <laughs> that, that? <laughs> yeah. Right. So his response is, you're welcome for having me. <laughs> yeah. OK. Yeah. I nailed it. I got the right answer, right? That was this was a BuzzFeed quiz. I wasn't listening. Yeah, so, so based on all of that conversation, I just wanted to inform you, Jared, that your boba type is Taro. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> and you are an introvert. Oh, I didn't. What? Of course, of course. This changes everything. I'm gonna have to cancel a bunch of parties. I'm going to. Oh, please cancel a party. They're going to because I'm struggling right now. <laughs> that's one that's coming to me. I'm not going to that one. So oh, I can't boy. cancel that. I, I'm going to be having to make a lot of phone calls What, what are you planning? We're just meeting here. <laughs> I'm just, 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 okay. just this okay. one thing, really. Yeah. <laughs> just, you know. Okay. I loved that show so much. That was it's, one of the greatest shows of my whole friend group back in the day. It's Which one? very good. Uh, Blue Mountain State. Oh, that's a TV show? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It was absurd. It was, they never played football. They were just football <laughs> yeah. people. So, so it aired on Spike. If, you know, like, so it's very like a male gaze kind of show and... Um, Wait, not what? gays as in homosexuals, yeah, I was but like, gays what? as in like, <laughs> like sight, you know, when well, you like gaze at something. kind of had that. Oh, G-A-Z. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I don't think that was Spike's TV's MO at all. <laughs> I think they yeah, were so, like oh probably my- anti, <laughs> if anything. So, uh, so like a yeah, like a, that poster very gay. <laughs> like the the male gaze, not the yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, hear you say. I was so thrown. I'm like, what channel were you watching? There, there was a lot of like uh, homosexual like overtones though in that. It was very. What's well, yeah, that so, thing where you, you know, overcompensate like of, and you like pretty much yeah. go full circle and you're like, oh, I'm not yep. gay. Look, at it. I'll do this thing, and you're like, that's very gay. 
It was basically that. So it's okay. very, you know, like problematic humor and blah, blah, blah. It was very funny. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like the, the premise or it followed the one, this one guy who was also on a days of our lives. Um, but he wanted to be, he wanted to be a part of the football team in college, but he didn't want to be the quarterback. He wanted to be backup quarterback. And the reason why he wanted to be the backup quarterback, it's because it's all of the glory and none of the work. And so you never wa- saw them play football. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's similar to, um, the league, uh, the league, I think, with Paul Shear. Yeah, which is yeah. like it's about fantasy football, but they almost never discuss the fantasy football or football, which makes it a very <laughs> like a good show. It was very funny. I liked it a lot because I'm not even a football fan. I like I die at any any mention of football, and they hardly ever talk about it. So it's like really funny in that way. They're like it's it's about a group of friends doing fantasy football, but they get in. It's kind of like shenanigans in the similar way of uh, Sunny in Philadelphia, where they never actually mm-hmm. do the thing because. They're always fighting or whatever, so that's yeah. Fun. They're always messing up. Yeah, that's pretty. But, uh, but could we do the same type of format with streaming? You never see the stream or them at a computer. It's just them. Honestly, in sometimes a when we start the stream and we're like talking about stuff, I'm like, will we ever start the game? <laughs> <laughs> we should do some just talking ep- streams. I feel like people might like that. I don't know. Maybe can we do a mukbang? Yes. Yeah. That? Uh, it's eating. like those food eating things well that's the thing is like it goes back to the same problem that i have with everything i want to do more stuff i just don't know when i would do that like that's a lot yeah. of like like i would like again if we if, this, if streaming content creation was our full-time job then i would do mukbang wednesdays at m- lunch whatever you know but like i'm at a building somewhere else at wednesdays at lunch so that's my problem is like oh we could we could we could replace a single stream but i would love to do like cooking streams on the reg or uh, yeah. You know, like whatever. It's just like it always comes back down to it's like I don't know when I'll do that. Like, hmm. I was try. I was looking up this one. Oh no, they do do birthday cakes. Oh, children's birthday. I'm still still reeling that this isn't Michael J. Fox. <laughs> still, <laughs> like my brain Wait, cannot what? accept that it's not Michael J. Fox. <laughs> You thought it was? I did. I don't know why, though. I, I, it's one of those things. I don't know why I thought, I thought that as a kid. But it just, like, I never questioned it. And it looks like him. And I'm not crazy. It. I. It, oh, he, also, Raz. He, yeah. It, Chris says nice shirt. And I also agree. Very nice up the up nice shirt for sale on our website. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. Uh, oh, my gosh. I, I love this scene. For some reason, him sharpening those those skates, ice skates, is like, I don't know, like therapeutic to me. I don't know. Something about this scene was like, yeah, like he's he's sharpening skates. I don't Maybe know. you are in the wrong profession. Maybe yeah, you want to sh- be like a woodworker Sh- or skate like sharpener. something. <laughs> yeah, skate yeah. sharpener. Welder, maybe. It's never too late. I was good at yeah. welding in high school. Age is just a number. Whoa! <laughs> that's, I that's, meant for like for like changing careers, for changing careers. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, this guy was creepy oh. as hell, though. <laughs> yeah, he he laughed at Tiffany's joke. Oh no! Like, yeah, that, it was that's what I say too. <laughs> oh no! Just like undo, undo. Um. I thought for a second, or at least from the back of his head, he was the guy in Michael Hunger Games who passed. He was oh. Michael J. Fox. <laughs> I thought he was Michael J. Fox. You thought he was right. um, the man. The Famiga, man with the three names. Yeah, Family Guy made a joke about him, and that's how I remember him. I also worked on a lot of some content for Hunger Games, and I saw his name a bunch, and I totally forgot it. I only can remember his name from Family Guy now. Uh, I don't want to look it up. I want I want it to come to me naturally. Same. I did like him as an actor in Hunger Games a lot. I'm trying to remember because I know I'm trying to like remember the rhythmic way that Peter Griffin says it. He's like, no, honey, that was Seymour Phil Hoffman. Phil, Philip, Philip, Philip Douglas Seymour, Philip Patrick. Something with a no. P. Patrick Douglas Seymour. Philip Se- Seymour. Philip Seymour Something Hoffman. Philip Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah, that's it. We did it. I, I need to look it up because Good I don't job. trust us anymore. Uh, I just looked it up. It's correct. I'm okay, right. Okay, cool. Very good. I did like him in that movie a lot. He was my favorite, favorite. He was just so, like, mild in the best way. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
He reminds me of the, I think, CEO of College Humor. <laughs> he what? He looks like, he reminds me of the CEO of College Humor, Sam something. Oh. Sam something. Let me look him up. He, he well, kind of looks like he could be related to uh, Sam, Jack Black. Sam. Oh, yeah. Reach. Yeah. Sam Reach. Well, let me let me put a side by side. And, you know, I'll put a side by side in chat for those who, people who are alive. Um, but continue on. Um, All right. <laughs> okay, you, you go. Yeah, you go. he was, so he was just go. so he was so mild and in like the best way, like kind of like a uh, uh, Ryan Gosling in Blade Runner. You know what I mean? Like he was just like he didn't emote a lot. Yeah, yeah. But it worked. So he's just like, like oh, don't do that. Good. And then he was yeah, like, he's like, the don't. Best. Oh, he's like, oh, I guess we're doing this. I freaking love that. That's like my favorite. That's why I freaking <laughs> love. I never cared for Ryan Gosling before Blade Runner. And then I saw Blade Runner and I was like, I love Ryan Gosling when he's not doing anything. <laughs> when he's not driving. That's <laughs> yeah. no drive is where he, he doesn't do anything. That's his best <laughs> not doing anything role. <laughs> it might be his best role, though. It might be his best role. Okay. I got it. Hold on. Let me figure out how to actually put this side by side together in the easiest, laziest way possible. There's so many cakes that I'm looking at <laughs> and it's giving me ideas for another thing. Oh, no. Is it also cake related? It, I mean, like I want a particular cake for this thing. It's very, very cool. Dress leche oh. cake. Oh, is that oh, is your that's favorite? Good. Oh. It's so good because I don't need to pour milk on it. It already has some milk poured Hold on. Hold on, let me write this down. <laughs> that's all the thing too. People are like, Can you pour the milk on your cake. That's gross. Anyways, here's thrust leche cake. That's the thing. That's the thing that I do. <laughs> Criticize me, and then they go and invent the whole cake around it. <laughs> you know, it's honestly, your idea. Basically, if I can't, gosh dang it, Mexico. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> if I can't. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm glad that I'm I'm discussing this on the on this podcast. It's I didn't want to say anything, but then I also didn't want to be disappointed <laughs> if I didn't get get my cake. Are you serious? <laughs> no, no. I, no, I love cake in general. But I was like, I was like, I wonder if you'll come to it naturally. Mm, better drop some hints to make sure. <laughs> it wasn't even a hit. You just said <laughs> it. I just said it. <laughs> it's the best hint. <laughs> okay. Cool, 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 cool. I'm, I'm very. That made me less stressed out about this. What's your favorite cake, Tiffany? Uh, Black Forest. Red velvet's the best. Like, like the ham. Oh. It's I, just like the ham. I don't know if I ever had real velvet. Real. Oh my gosh, I hate red rah, velvet. Rah, 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 real rah, rah, rah. red velvet. Because my thing is, <laughs> fake red velvet is nothing. That's just chocolate. No. But yeah. real red. I can't. I'm done with this. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> How do you upload photos to this stupid chat? It's, <laughs> I did, it's so, so garbage now. I used to just be able to copy and paste. I can't copy and paste anymore. Regarding, There's like a little picture thing. I, it's not. A, I have to save the image in order to upload it. That's stupid. Can, do, can you do the link itself? No, it's an image I made. Oh, oh, I make oh, it. I, yeah. I make this. But I'm saying I used to just be able to copy and paste it off the clipboard. And now I can't uh, do that. And it's like, cool, 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 cool. You guys made it worse. You guys made it so much I, worse. I know you can do it for Discord, but I don't yeah, remember yeah, being I, able to do that for I remember uh, being Rabbit. able to do it before they oh, did the okay. stupid update. Um, Anyways, so those two people look the same to me. <laughs> if if Philip Seymour Hoffman and Bert... I can't click on this image. <laughs> yeah, that's, other, that's also broken. How do you how do, you do this? This how is, do I this do is this? the podcast where we complain about Rabbit. How do I How do I do this? I don't know. I don't know what you do. I don't that, leave room, that, right? That, that, that's how it works. That's how it works. Or Yuki. that's how we could use this as the opportunity to plug the Discord channel where we could also post images. Well, I'm so dumb. Why did I just do that? <laughs> uh, anyways, anyways, there's the, the thing. I put it in our the Discord. second picture is relevant to what just happened. <laughs> Pretty much. So, oh no, I clicked on something and now I'm not in the thing anymore. Oh my gosh, this is so confusing. Um, so, Philip Seymour Hoffman picture and Bernie Burns equals <laughs> that guy. Oh, oh. Oh, look, that's no, not Bernie like, Burns. 
if you shoved Philip Seymour Hoffman and Bernie Burns in one machine and then you put the ground the machine and then you rebuilt a body, that's what and made a made. hamburger. Mm. Yeah. And then you ate the hamburger and then <laughs> You became them. <laughs> what a good anime. <laughs> the hamburglar. My life as a burger boy. Identity hamburglar. If you ever grind me up into a burger and eat me, can you respect my death by eating me with grilled onions? Thanks. What? Chopped up? Whole grilled? What do you want? Mmm. Chopped up. No. I had I had whole grilled, <laughs> and then I'll never go back. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was so good. Oh, we're talking about In-N-Out, by the way. International listeners. Dep <laughs> depending on my mood, I'd either want regular onions or grilled onions. See, I didn't know what's about, a, whole, I didn't know about grilled whole grilled. Onion? And so I always went regular because they were more flavorful. I couldn't honestly couldn't tell with the chopped up ones. And then I got whole grilled and I was like, best of both worlds. I, uh, if I do like, I generally do lettuce wrap burgers because I don't like hamburger buns. Um, so if I do that, I, that's when I get, uh, regular onions. Oh, wait, when you get lettuce wrap? Yeah. It's powerful. It's powerful. It's lost flavor. Chris in chat says animal style fries, to which I say yes. They are good, but they are completely them, ripped off. You are you what are makes getting them animal style. Cheese, spread, I think onions. Mm, I, I don't think like the onions. spread. That's the problem. But that's yeah, the thing though. That's a huge They'll problem. give you the spread for free. The cheese is just American garbage cheese, and then you can't taste the onions that much. And they charge you like two to three extra dollars for that. So I'm, I'm, I, I stopped getting it because I couldn't in my right mind get that. And honestly, I just go, can I have a, I get fries and go, can I have some spread? And then I just put that on yep. top. And honestly, it's just good enough for the price. <laughs> so, yeah. Is that a Californian thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're talking about In-N-Out. That's right. This guy doesn't know. <laughs> And, oh, and here's yeah. the trick, too. You want to get well-done fries so they don't get, like, soggy from the spread. Yeah. Sometimes I like it soggy, though. Not their fries. I don't like their fries. So I don't like their fries at oh, all, really. really. Shoestring fries or steak fries? Oh, shoestring. shoestring. Steak shoestring. fries are just potatoes that, like, are weird. Yeah, potatoes are good, though. But those aren't good potatoes. Those are, like, overly baked baked potatoes, you know? It's like, you know, if you ever overcook a baked potato, that, those are what those fri fries are. They're just in fry form. They're rare. Fries. Steak fries are rarely good. I rarely like, all oh, right, I, what do you want? Fries? I go, yes. And then they bring out steak fries. I'm like, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> you said fries. The, the no. best shoestring fries are at the yard. Those are pretty good. Oh, I've never, I've never no, had no, no, shoestring fries. No, no, no. Shoestring yes. fries, the best ones are at Lucille's. Yeah, those, those are really good. And then also, I also double really like those because I get beef ribs. And then I dip them in the oil that comes off the beef ribs. And so that is the best topping. Because then you have crispy, oily, orange juice. Because it's like, it's like a weird orange oil because of the marinade. It's so good. We're really, really like narrow casting to like people who live in California. I don't know where else has Lucille's. Um, uh, rest in peace. What's, uh, what's some good food at where you are? Coffee. Uh, like coffee. coffee. <laughs> we frozen coffee for dinner. <laughs> like local chains. I. We're just like anything. No idea. Is there? I, do you know Lucille's? Do you guys have that there? I don't know how. how I've never heard of it. Never heard of it. It's a You're chain. too up barbecue. north, right? Like. Yeah, you don't. You don't, you, don't, you don't have like yeah. You don't have like a, like a good barbecue, right? That's not. That you're not known for that. Home. You don't like have home, food where you're at, right? <laughs> Just no, we have a home. Do you know what milk is? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't know what. What is food? I, we, we eat, uh, eat some protein blocks over we, here. We eat rocks, <laughs> rocks and hard bean egg beans. <laughs> <laughs> and that's leche cake. <laughs> oh man, Jared would like love it there if all you ate was uh, yeah, rice leches. That probably has most of the nutrients that you need. Milk? You could, Milk. You could probably make a cake out of protein powder, and you could probably do some kind oh. of vitamin thing, and then you're good. That would actually be like a a pretty good like mythical morning skit. I think like okay. Soylent in a cake. Okay, give that to them. Just take my no, idea. No, how about just, you do it? You said mythical morning. 
No, you do it. It's it's mythical level content that uh, okay. up down left die can do. I just like this idea where I'm like, add this idea, and you're like, that's right, that's perfect for someone else. <laughs> someone else should do we that. Should, we should sue them. <laughs> we should sue them. I um, hey, uh, Ren, Ren and L Lank, we and we Lunk. also have a well, YouTube channel. I think you stole our idea. <laughs> We've been doing this for one episode. We're, um, have you guys seen this photo on Facebook where the lady has like a gun and it's on Snapchat? And she says like "run up," but the gun is like really rusty. And then there's like a billion comments making fun of the gun, and it's so funny. Have you seen this? I've, I've not seen that. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Nope. Linking it, it's the best thing ever. It's like a super rusty gun, and then everyone's like, "Let me read some of these comments off." Um, the thing will explode in your hand. <laughs> like, like one comment is, that gun costs three shillings in a bag of wheat. And someone is like, ye verily, <laughs> ye verily, I say unto thee, come hither, take heed, runneth up thee, if, if thine be wished to perish. Um, let me see. Oh, she's on her way to still the Declaration of Independence. The gun, that's the gun can use on Abel. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a good one. That's really good. She found this gun on the Oregon Trail. <laughs> Is there any four score stuff over there? I'm sure there's a ton. It just she got that four score in seven years ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh. that's nice. very good. I mean, because her caption on her photo that she took says "run up," and someone's like, "You can walk up and still be okay." <laughs> <laughs> It's just so, uh, like, this is definitely one of those things where the internet comes together in, like, the best way. <laughs> the picture of Red Dead, it says, tell me this ain't the same gun. <laughs> <laughs> this must be a different thread, because I swear I read other ones that I thought were a little bit better, but they're great. So, like, I just... Yeah, I don't know, man. That's like, you know what this kind of reminds me of? It's like people with like old cars. I'm just like, I don't I don't see the appeal of old cars. I don't like old cars. I, if you are going to give me a car, give me like a futuristic car. Yeah, you know what I, mean? I don't like old cars because you like get in. You're like, oh, there's like the engine turns on and then you go straight and there's no other feature. It's like it does. Nope. Win windows, though. No, those are not like has them. <laughs> 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 like a radio somewhere like that's it's so basic and i get it because it's like it's the appeal or whatever but it's yeah. like please i need i need i i need like ac and like some you know i need some basic necessities and that's my problem is like i get in an old car i'm like oh this is so bare bones it's so analog it's it's crazy that it exists this uh this company that i used to be around called Whatever. Anyway, the crazy that's rich cool. millionaire owner. I want to work that whatever. That's awesome. Dude, whatever you want, man. That's <laughs> that's the name of the place. But uh, he would like legit put Android um, Auto inside of like crazy old cars and like dump like hundreds of thousands into making See, them modern as hell. This seems a little bit like like a like a lose lose situation because now you've also ruined like ruined it as an old car. Oh yeah. And it sucks that it it's, it doesn't drive like a new car. So it's like, what have you done? <laughs> Uh, Sichiyami was just like, I like old cars. <laughs> I like those. Pikachu shocked me. <laughs> but like, because at least if you have an old car and it's like you restore it, it's all classic. Then at least it's like, oh, this is a, it's like a time machine. But if you go and ruin it with tech from now, that eventually becomes outdated. Then you have an old car with crappy tech in it. <laughs> you have nothing. <laughs> and you no one nothing. wants it. Because it's like, what is that Android Auto? Pff, what is this? 2018? How dumb are you? Bye. It flies away. Well, no, but then it, but then it opens a whole other market to people that want vintage iOS and software stuff. No, like, all this stuff is gonna be crap in like five years. It's it's all gonna fall apart. It's not gonna be good. But but in forty years, it'd be like oh, Android yeah. Auto. That was before AI cars. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know. Gotta wait long enough, and anything becomes cool. Even buffer buddies. Wow, that too good soon. Advertising I, or bad advertising. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Real talk though, like 20 years from now, looking back at this like time period of the internet will be very. Yeah, <laughs> dude. 
Yeah, I can't wait till kids are like looking at like this is the only thing left from the internet age. We're going to go check out history. Welcome to Buffer Buddies. They're like, wow. Dab. Yeah, dab, 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 dab. And they're like, this is, it's like Shakespeare to them, though. They're like, what a genius. These, these <laughs> they are, were so wise. They were so smart with their words and their innuendos. Yeah, teacher has to like, explain you know, them. that's what I think about, like, Shakespeare. Like, it's he not was, that, what if it's not that deep, you yeah, know? Yeah, he's just like, he's like, uh, then people love this. And he's like, he's like, <laughs> I'm rich and famous now. And we're all like, Pretty oh, much. so deep there with his sexual jokes, like, I think it was just he was he was just a Twitch streamer, <laughs> but just like it was live and it was streamed very locally. <laughs> very locally. You're never too old for a, a fart noise in a podcast. I, I, People love it. Yes. Oh. Oh. Hold on, I gotta post this photo. There's a lot of photos this episode. It's a great thing it's a podcast. Yeah, this is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I put okay, it in Discord. Uh, that's me. That me with the big bag of popcorn. No, that's everybody. No, that's me. Every time, every day. I could finish a two liter of soda in 15 seconds. Why, though? <laughs> who, and, uh, who benefits from that? No one. <laughs> that's just is like, this a thing that you have done before? Yes. It, but, wow. I won't do it again. Like, okay, let's see. Like, let's, let's do a pro and con list. Pro, pros. I uh, guess you're not thirsty anymore. Cons, you wasted the soda, which hence pro, you wasted you get the... to look cool in front of your friends? No, not really. Uh, con? Yeah, it con, depends. No, I would never. Because I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be mad at you for drinking all the soda. Why? But I bought an extra soda just for me to do it. I could have been an extra soda for everyone to share. All right. If, if I was at a five-person party with six two-liters and one for myself, is no, it then you could be at a party with seven two-liters. Oh my god! Here's the thing. Okay, let All me right. finish my cons list. You yeah, you wasted yeah. the soda, and you've also wasted money. Um, con, you've also ingested like so much sugar for no reason. And I don't care how young you are; it's just like that didn't benefit you. You didn't enjoy that. You could have had that slowly over the course of a day and enjoyed it, or like you could have had, you could have just had more of it. And, and, and yeah, it's just like it's gone now. And then I can't imagine that feels good, right? Okay, You're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's, you see. In life, there's lots of things that make sense at the time, but a minute later, they don't. How do you do it, though? Doesn't the, like, bubbles burn your throat? The bubbles. bubbles. You, you, gotta, you gotta burp. While you're drinking? Well, like, you did it. All right, so out of the 15 seconds, three seconds are dedicated to, uh, to burp. Yeah, I don't know if I could. You know what? I'm just ashamed now. Okay, you know, <laughs> good. I don't like soda because it's fizzy. I love soda because it's fizzy, but I just don't. I, I know I can't. Carbs. I can't drink it like straight. I go, oh, and I have to stop. No way. It's a, like okay. So I have very very um, high pain tolerance in everywhere except like anything about mouth, my face, mouth, mouth yeah. area. Yeah, pretty much. So I'm just like, yeah, because I remember like that. What last week I had like a cut or a, a blister or something like on the roof of my mouth, and my I was just dead. I was like, no, I hate this. I hate everything. Like it was just awful. Oh, but yeah, I remember that. If you punch me in the back, I'll like it. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, gosh. oh no, this <laughs> podcast took a whole turn. Is this a new up, down, left, die segment? <laughs> no, pity <laughs> blink. <laughs> I, I actually um at work uh one of my coworkers I was like complaining about my back because I have back problems because I'm an old lady and uh we we set up like basically like a massage table and both her and then one of our other coworkers who's like a very like large guy was just like having at it and I was just like not reacting and they're just like uh do you have high pain tolerance? And then I've also been to a um, 
like a therapist for sciatica and he does this like crazy weird i don't know some kung fu thing and he he goes like people at this point are normally like screaming i'm concerned because you're not reacting and then i told him i'm the chosen one (laughs) (laughs) i told him i was like it's probably because i don't have a fight or flight instinct Yeah, it's just like really funny because he's just like people usually like sweat and they scream and they're like yelling and like, you know, like clenching. And I was just like, this is fun. This feels good. (laughs) That's uh, my story. That's how I got here. I think I have a high pain tolerance because I didn't get any like uh, pain reduction (laughs) nutrients. I wish (laughs) Um, when I got my wisdom teeth pulled, I just was kind of like, okay, let's go. I did have no, Korean barbecue no. the next day after wisdom teeth. No, no, you didn't get any like whatever it's called anesthesia. Yeah, pain or it is. They just ri- went in there and they just ripped it out, uh, castaway style. Yeah, <laughs> castaway. Where they, like. they drew a happy face on your 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 tooth and they pulled it away and then you're like Wilson. Well, I meant well, with the sir. I meant more with the the ice skate, which is sharpened no. by this guy in this movie. <laughs> hey, do you think there's a crossover? He was sh- he was sharpening the ice skate, and he was gonna mail it, and then to Tom Hanks. Yeah, no, well, it's not to Tom Hanks, but the plane crash from like, Tom Hanks. Oh, <laughs> you don't understand how FedEx works. Oh. <laughs> he has shipped to, to FedEx. FedEx them. kid, FedEx kid. <laughs> all, all, the, all, the, all the boxes go to FedEx. And they open them there. They go cool, oh, <laughs> but yeah. What if that was a thing? Well, yeah. What if FedEx was a thing? You know, wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> like, okay. So, what would be like back in the day? I guess that's just regular delivery. There is no like. Yeah, it'd just it just be like a horse and carriage. Yeah, it was the Postman Express. Hmm. Postman Express. And the guy would very, run very to town. Famous. Postman Express. Postman Express. Postman Express. Postman. And he would just yell that all the way. He would just be running on a horse. How, how did it go? Postman Express. But like, loop that. <laughs> I wish I had a cool soundboard where I could like do sound bits and like loop them. The looper board. Yeah, me too. I, I wish you did too. Yeah. Do you, your echo thing. Just, Dude, get a just, MIDI, just, MIDI fighter. Postman Express. We're not here right now. That's what it sounds like when he's running and it's echoing through the town. Yeah, like a town in a cave. Yeah. Did you think yeah, towns saying. were always outside? <laughs> <laughs> they had to work for that. Hobbits live in caves. <laughs> yeah. Do they? I, I guess technically, is technically that a cave? Is, is that like a, yeah. a cave? What, what classifies a cave? That's a good point. Good question. Hmm. Where's the wiki? Yeah, like I'm very, very confused. Um. So, okay, so I saw this thing where you can like go to like New Zealand or whatever. Maybe it wasn't even New Zealand, and I'm just getting that and confused. But like, you can have a Hobbit house. Would you want one? Yes. I think it'd be so cool. It'd be too it, small. It would be just like Japan, though. You like the it's, subway? Yeah, it'd be too small. Well, who's gonna be in there? Just me. <laughs> oh yeah, then. Yeah, like, I don't need... Oh, unless I throw, like, a party, you know, but... No one won't come. Too small. I used... <laughs> I used to think that I would be, like, a dwarf. Like, a dwarf in The Hobbit, whatever. Because they're, like... They're, they're you know, they're short. I'm short. And they also like to eat a lot of meat. And I'm very carnivorous. But then, uh, now that I think about it, I think now that I'm getting older, I'm definitely a hobbit. Do you have hairy feet? Uh, let me get back to you on that. Is that something that I'd like to disclose? Mm. Well, if you're a hobbit, you would. You don't have to. <laughs> I'll, I'll believe you're a hobbit if you tell me. I, I don't need to see your paper. <laughs> I'll take a picture of my feet and send it to you. He's a good player. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, a lot of my, like, 
cosplay friends get requests to send people pictures of their feet. Dude, and, nerds are weird. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, easy money. <laughs> yeah, I um, I had a friend who basically would complain to me every day at work that one of her friends is one of those kinds of Snapchat people that would just make sick money just being on Snapchat all day. Wow. How do you make yeah. money off of that? Who's, who's doing that? Because you can send money through Snapchat. Oh, so there's probably just like, I'll send you money if you send me pictures. That's the thing of- always... Well, th- besides that, though, there's like people like that. I, I don't understand that. So I get that sort of. But the people like the other day, someone on like Instagram... Uh, in their bio was just like their PayPal link. And sitting on like Twitter, it's like, why would anyone do that? Like, with but then no- they do. Then the people do, and it's crazy. They do. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah. like, so I just set that on my Twitter bio, like, uh, for like you know, there's there's no. I mean, it depends. But my it thing might is not feet? work. Yeah, it might not work for sexist reasons, but we're willing to. to but try. I just I'm just trying to think though, like that person has just a link in their bio. There is no implied exchanging of goods, you know? So this is like, do I just send, I sent you $5. Like, like you know, it's like, it just seems so crazy to me. I'm just going, I'll just send you money. Random. You know what? I'm going to do it. It's, it's do so it. crazy I'm, to me. It's so crazy. I'm going to post a picture of my feet on Twitter at Fava Lava. And if you want to give me money, go for it. But I can just see that for free. <laughs> I don't need to give you money. It's but, weird. But here's, I don't understand the logic. Here's, no, here's this how you like do you, it. You can you, give you that money it. to someone who will trade you in things that you may want. But like, so why not go to a guaranteed source of that? It's so weird to me. I don't understand. Like, it's it's not like oh, this is a unique idea. Like you're like here's my I don't know it, why. Well, here's why? here's how you do it, Jared. You post both feet, but one of them has a sock on. So that way, there's something. There's more. You know, like you get mm. them a little bit hooked. But I'm am, do I, I but. In this scenario, they never say anything. So I'm saying in that case, I'm not like I'm not going to give you the other one just because you random person sent me money. It's a different thing if they're like send me money, I'll do this. That's different. In this case, yeah, don't give it away for free. But they don't say that is what I'm saying. There's literally no implication. It's like here's my Instagram, here's my cat, here's my PayPal link for no. Reason. But maybe that's like a very powerful form of marketing. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's like. Send me. There was that thing where someone's like, "Send me five dollars and see what happens." And then people, guys were doing it. It was like on Tinder, or whatever. And then it's like <laughs> she did nothing. It's like, yeah, she tricked you good. Um, that's <laughs> different. Idiot. Yeah, it's that was a that was a good trick. But um, the no implication of like literally any interaction is the it baffles me. God. Oh, because I'd rather go buy a sandwich with that. I'd rather go do. I could think of a thousand other things I would do with that money before I sent it to unknown person for no reason. But maybe are they hoping for a reason? You know what I, I think mean? That's like, stupid because again, why hope for a reason? You could find someone who will give you a reason guaranteed, or at or least you claim. Can, like, subscribe to some online thing There's that a, would give that, you. That's what you saying want, right? those are part of the thousand other things that like I. Because my thing is, like, what are you hoping to get out of it? I could find a website that'll get me that thing for guaranteed. That's that's my point. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it may be. <laughs> Like a dog. Yeah, you're like, I really wish I had a cat. You have a cute cat. Here's five dollars. Dang it, I didn't get a cat. Like, or you could go somewhere. You're like, here's five dollars. Here's a cat. Wow, good exchange. <laughs> good exchange of uh, goods or services. Yeah. Pretty. This funny. kid is young. He's a lot older in the next movie. I think. How long wow, are we between these movies? Is it like uh, you find out that he's the the. The, the He's son the of the one. guy, yeah. Or, He's a chosen yeah. one. Okay, my dad was the chosen. 1992. <laughs> Two years. <laughs> that was a good joke. I'm immature. I talk about feet <laughs> and laugh at stupid jokes. Uh, I feel like those kids wouldn't have gotten that joke. They look young. Yeah, also, no wait, way. why are they playing with molecules? They look like they're 10. <laughs> um, honors or private school, maybe? I don't maybe. Know. I guess I guess you're like in high school and you start what? learning about molecules. What if this was a crossover with School of Rock and then Jack Black just comes in and he goes, 
guitar or whatever he does. <laughs> what are you doing? It's hockey. That's stupid. Rock guitar. And then no one shows up for get the stupid hockey practice because the guy's mean. But Jack Black's nice. Hey. Yeah. How about School of Rock on Ice? Oh. Wait. Is it, so here's here's the thing though. Is it School of Rock on Ice? Or is it School of Rock on Ice? What? Rock on School of Rock on Ice. So it's a school of rock on ice instead of a school of rock on ice, right? So so Jack Black's like, we're gonna go and we're gonna do a rock show on ice. Or is it school of rock being performed on ice? I like the second one. You like the second one? I, 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 yeah. I, in the universe I, or out of the universe? That, that's that's, the, that's the question. I I'm got asking, so confused. I'm asking, out of is, the universe. It's out of the universe. So it's a rendition of School of Rock being performed on ice, not Jack Black in the movie suggesting that they no. do. A, in the movie, Jack Black isn't suggesting to do a oh, ice Oh, is that show. what you meant? Like that would Uriah. be a good sequel, though. Yeah. I He's like, totally we're going to kick it up one more. Yeah! And he's like... <laughs> and he's like yelling and then he's skating around. And he just peng- penguin slides across the ice. <laughs> I would love it if him, if he pulled off like perfect like twirls. I don't know what those movements are called on ice skates. But you know when they just spin in place? I would love to see Jack Black just do that. It'd be so funny. <laughs> it's never too late. I think he, I think he can pull it off. He's a cool guy. How cool? Ice cold. cold. Oh. Now. Wow, you guys are pretty witty. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. So, uh, uh-huh. I'll go. No, 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 go ahead. This is easily the worst on ice movie I've ever seen. There's not much of it. <laughs> it's not much of yeah. the ice parts. It's a lot of like, what does this even have? This is okay, let's dive into the ratings. This is the part where we dive into the ratings. So, My Ducks has a 6.5 out of 10. On IMDb, not bad. And a 23% on Rotten Tomatoes, which I think makes a lot more sense. Oh, because that's a critic score. And it's, wow, 65% audio score. That's perfectly lined up with uh, IMDb. This is essentially the Phantom Menace, where you think you're going to watch a hockey movie, and in Phantom Menace, you think you're going to watch a Star Wars movie, and instead you get a bunch of like weird politics. And in this movie, you get him like going to court. It's like, what is this? <laughs> this is disappointing. Better or worse than the ending to uh, Big Daddy? Well, we haven't seen Big Daddy yet. Oh. Actually, that might be the next movie. Oh, I had that list up. What is the next week's movie? Next week's movie. George of the Jungle. Oh, did I say that already? No, I was just. I oh, asked, no, you're wrong. No you're answered. close. You're close, but that's not right. Um, Stargate actually has the most of votes. We could do I st- guess I don't know how to read Reddit. <laughs> well, it's, I guess for that's some not- reason, the sort function is not working for me, even though it's supposed to work for me. I don't know why it's like that. Oh, hold on. Is it because I replied? Reddit's not working right, but at the moment, I think... So, Stargate. Stargate's next week. Star- is he quacking at that guy? He's just quacking just at that guy. Honestly, it- power move. Power. Yeah, for totally. I think I gotta do that next time at work. Someone's like, "How come this doesn't work?" Quack 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 quack. And they're no, like, "Just just for the rest of the podcast, like oh. like try talking, Jared." Quack 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 quack, 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 quack. Oh, you're doing it to me. I thought you were telling me to yeah. do it. That's intimidating. I got scared. Quack I, quack quack. Oh gosh! <laughs> Please stop. Yeah. <laughs> wow, power move. Power move achieved. Um, there's some good movies on this list on our Reddit. Reddit.com slash r slash up down if die. <laughs> Where can I find a link for that in the um up down left die discord? No, but you can find it on bufferbuddies.com. So, what's that movie where the guy is he's aware that he's like in a movie? Oh, um, are you talking about the Truman Show? Is that it? Well, he's not aware till the end. Good spoiler there. Ruined it. Yeah, wh- Take that off the <laughs> isn't list. There, isn't there a movie? <laughs> no, isn't there like a modern movie? And I say modern because this was, Truman Show is 1998. It is a 1998 drama slash fantasy that's about an hour and 43 minutes and rated PG. Um, Pretty good for an there- RPG. <laughs> And when the dragons come, it's just crazy. Um, 
What? No, there isn't there another movie? It's like Tom Hanks or something like that. Tom mm. Hanks. Movie. In a movie. In a movie. Like the Truman Show. How about that? I don't know what you're talking. You got to give me more details. That doesn't make any damn sense. I don't know. Movie where the guy. I'm searching this up. Where movie? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's play a game. Play a game. I just typed. I just typed in movie where the guy. Can you please uh, give me the top three uh, autofills? Uh, movie where the guy falls on the scooter. One. Uh, movie where the guy died. Two. One more. Wait, why are you? Maybe yours? Oh, oh but you're uh, the top answer. three. I was like, what? Um, movie where the guy shoots the gun. Okay, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you the top three, and then I'm just going to go down the list. Movie where the guy is blind. Movie where the guy cheats on his wife. Movie Ooh. where the guy gets pregnant. What? That's a, what? That's the top three. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's craziness. No, uh, so, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. But these are tailored to your searches, though. <laughs> are they? Yeah, you got to use incognito mode in like a VPN for it to be totally neutral. Yeah, yeah. I, that's interesting. I wonder what I was looking at. Okay. It's so not directly another- related to you. It's just... It's influenced by you, but yeah, what were Here, you doing? Here, here's a good one. <laughs> okay, well, knowing that fact, the rest are very funny. <laughs> movie where the guy loses his memory. Okay, this one, this one. Are you guys ready? Okay. <laughs> are you guys ready? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> movie where the guy says turtle, turtle. <laughs> oh my god! What the heck? <laughs> what an idiot it's such that is that it's master cr- yeah, of disguise of, duh gosh kids I'm these days my eyeliner's in my eye and now it stings <laughs> um okay movie where the guy gets the girl movie where the guy lives in the attic movie where the guy turns blue movie where the guy keeps dying movie where the guy turns into a girl oh man I think the movie where the guy gets pregnant you might have looked up something because of twins oh yeah, that's probably it. Like, I think that was, I think that was actually maybe a venue. <laughs> <laughs> but doesn't it usually, like, show me what's mine? Like, it's all purple. I don't insert. know. Movie where the guy is in a movie? <laughs> <laughs> no. Movie where oh, the yeah. guy. What was the original, <laughs> the original movie you're referencing? I, I guess it is Truman Show. I didn't think it was, but I guess it is. But he's like yeah, super not aware. That's the whole point is that he's not aware. Movie but it doesn't imply he's aware. He knows. He he's finds in the out show. at the end, but he's not aware the whole time. Is it not? Is that, that's what you're saying. Like it's a movie where he's aware. Stranger always. than fiction. Oh, uh, haven't yeah, seen it. that's such a good movie. It's so funny. What is that one about? Uh, oh, yeah. Will Ferrell. That's the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, um, Will Ferrell's walking around and he hears like a voice narrating everything he's doing. Um, and it's all like comes true and whatever. So it's okay. either narrating what he's doing or what's going to happen. And it's like and then he dropped the sandwich. What? And then he like drops the sandwich. It's like, ah, oh, dang it. It's pretty funny. It's actually <laughs> so, like a so, less funny role for Will Ferrell, but he does a really good job. Um. So, back to the original point. What if what if it's a movie similar to that, where where just, but just everything is an ad. Everything that someone says, everything that you do is an ad. What? Where is that movie? Because it's just like a statement about like consumerism or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I like that. I like the idea. Um, like, how is everything an ad though? Is it like get the conversion like, ads or like yeah? I'm saying like I'm I'm trying to wonder how plot gets driven when you're like locked to such strict. I guess so, but my idea was like, oh, can you hand me that pen that we got on Amazon for uh, X amount okay. of dollar? You yeah, know, like something yeah. like that. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. But oh, like, well, how about this? How about this? It's how about there's one guy who doesn't do that, and so he's like, um, he's like, wow. Are those the new Nike Nike shoes? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, come on, what? You have to do. It. Do the, he's do like, the bit. Do the he's bit. like, oh, um, yeah, they're yeah they're new. I just got them. What? Where'd you, where'd you get them from? Dude, you have to 
You have to say, we have to say, we have to, he's, he's not doing it. He's not. And then they like freak out and they like, he's all like, oh, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, 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 what's the word when everyone, no one wants to talk to you. Shunned? Isolated, exiled. Yeah, exiled, essentially shunned, whatever. Yes. Those, uh, and those are analogies. But like real talk, I see that happening in the latest stage of capitalism when they take over our our government. They're going to be like, you must reference it's where you true. buy. It's everything. true. Yeah, you're like, how come you're not sharing? How come you're not promoting business? He's a commie. Man, I thought this was Michael J. Fox. I really <laughs> thought this was Michael J. Fox. I I, uh, I have a friend named like real life. I have a friend named Derek who looks just like this guy. He uh, looks I just, just I like just Michael J. Him. Fox by proxy. Is, is Derek yeah. a... Oh, He's Toy a Story. World of Warcraft player. Toy Story music. You got yeah, a friend in say. me. You got a friend. What? Okay, when did Toy Story come out? 1990. Is this Randy Newman? Okay. Uh, Toy Story came out in 1995. Right. So this oh, came out before course. Toy Story, then. Wow, interesting. Maybe it was the same composer, you know what I mean? Yeah, let's look that up. This is fun. This is fun. I'm having a good time. Looking um, up the information is very fun. What is this movie? The Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks. The <sighs> Mighty Ducks. Ducks OST. Yeah, see the Can't wait cartoon. to buy this at the record store later. <laughs> I own three, no, four vinyls. I don't have a vinyl player. I think it's All called night. Hey Man, and it's the hey. Poor Boys. Who's the Poor Boys? Me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> they were... Oh, this can't be right. Okay, so this this website's called Ringo's... Ringo's tracks. It doesn't look like a very reliable website, but it says they have they have songs in Captain Ron, The Mighty Ducks Run, and The Mighty Ducks Two, but not. What? I, I think Toy That's Story ripped who... this guy off. Yeah, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. You got a friend in me. That's Come Randy over? Newman or whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah. Randy Newman, the Mighty Ducks. Hold up. Here, 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 here. Okay, yeah. Hold on. Mighty. Okay. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, David Lewis Newman. Has scored the comedies, the Flintstones, the Mighty Ducks, the Nutty Professor, okay. B- Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures. David his- Lewis Newman is the brother clone. of Randy Newman. Is the clone of Randy <laughs> Newman? Okay, that's okay. So he's the he's they the prodigy. All like the same- he, and then, <laughs> and then Randy Newman came in and just like. No, you know what it is? You know what it is? Let me tell you what it is. It's like the when your older brother ha- went to school or whatever, and then you get the same teacher, and then you're just like, hey, you had this teacher. Can you help me with the same project? And the brother <laughs> yeah. just gives you yeah. the, the project from last year. Or my, uh, my yeah, thing was like, your brother got an <laughs> <laughs> My thing was like, it's, it's more like they worked on it together. And then when he was up there, like accepting his award for Toy Story, his brother was like, mention me. And he's like, I... Did this all by myself, and then he was like, "What? I wrote the whole thing for him, and it, that's how it went down." That they they killed each other. <laughs> They're dead. Now. <laughs> They're dead now because of these movies. Sandlot. <laughs> he also did Sandlot. <laughs> David Newman also did Sandlot. He just had like a monopoly on all the like. Sports related movies. All the right? 90s sports related comedy movies that we watched in high school and middle school when the teacher wasn't feeling good. <laughs> he the teacher all- was hunk over. Yeah. Hunk over? Hunk over. I'm really hunk over to gay today, guys. Um, oh, dang, I forgot what I was going to say. Hunk over. Hunk over. <laughs> <laughs> Keep saying it. 
Hunkover. Hunkover. I can take it. Do you uh do your Will Ferrell or Mark <laughs> Wahlberg thing, but with Michael J. Fox, even though it's not him? Michael J. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> it just reduces into like baby talk. Sort of. Michael. This movie, no, it doesn't. Sort of, it does. <laughs> these movies are dumb because in the next movie, he also like falls in love. How many times is he gonna fall in love? Every time the actress says, "I'm never doing that again." That's weird. What a weird movie plot. Because now it's like, what a a love interest. I can't wait for them to get married. Next movie. Yo, I'm going out with this hot chick getting ice cream. That happens. I mean, like, maybe not like that, but he goes out on a date and gets ice cream. So, okay, let me. I know a lot about the second movie. (laughs) (laughs) Let me, let me tell you guys something that I'm very, I'm very concerned, upset about, and maybe insulted by? So, um, I am looking for a specific picture through my Google Photos, and I can't find it. Type it in. But, I, I, hold on, hold on. You can search for, like, anything. Yeah, but anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, I'm not here for solutions, Jared. I'm here to tell you this story. I'm a man. (laughs) I have to give you (laughs) solutions. Um, Masculine. So, so selfies. Am I? Is that any selfie or is that your selfie? Oh, I don't know. I never actually thought about that. In in this folder of all my selfies that have been uploaded to Google Photos, you've typed um, selfie, right? Is that what you're saying? You type selfie and it's showing you <laughs> selfies. It it has it has to be just all selfies in general. It has okay. to be. I would imagine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was gonna say I'm insulted because. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, there's a there's a picture there's a bunch of pictures of my selfies and then there's a picture of Steve Carell. <laughs> <laughs> why? And why does this insult you though? <laughs> why? I mean, when did he get your phone? <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't I I I I just it has to be all selfies <laughs> type my selfies <laughs> try that my selfies no results did you not train it did you not tell it <laughs> you who don't you exist. are you have to tell it who I you didn't, are I, I didn't want to I was nervous it's crazy but it's like I don't know to me I'm just like that's the future I live in whatever <laughs> oh, <laughs> what well, happens I didn't happens think would work, but it worked what did uh cosplay yeah, oh, wow. oh wow. that's Dude. scary. No, no, it has some crazy filters. It's like, did you want cupcakes? It's like, oh, the thing, I guess so. Is, uh, that's interesting because there is pictures of me in a cosplay that just looks like me. So, I, like, how like, did that? Because it knows it's yeah, on no, your it, normal clothes. Um, but what if it was? Yeah, it gets. I, I love that it knows my cats versus other cats. Someone else's cats? That's so uh, yeah. interesting. So my cats, I have a folder. One of the coolest features, this is me. I love Google fo- Photos more than like anything. Um, I have a folder called like Neo and Trinity and it have it detect Neo and Trinity. Neo and Trinity being your cats. Me Being my cats. <laughs> not the Matrix. Not, not the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> I just but wait, this. wait. What if you search the Matrix where your cats... <laughs> No, I do like they do just sit all day taking photos of the same movie from different screenshots. Um, so Neo and Trudy, and then when I take photos and it detects them, it auto adds them to the fo- folder, which is shared with my family. So my family gets a little notification. They could go and look at the new photo I've taken of my cats. Um, but it won't. It knows them from other cats. So when I go to cat cafes and take photos of those cats, they don't get added to that folder, and I think that's crazy. Not only does it detect that it's a cat and not a human, it knows the different cats. I, it's so impressive. It knows yeah, that's pretty. That's very. Humans cool. are bad at telling which cats are which, and this is <laughs> a good job. It's I love it. And, and there's like, oh yeah, it's all these suggested folders. Like, did you want fireworks? Did you want beach? Do you want fireworks at the beach? Uh, uh, uh. Let me, actually, how do you get to that thing where it shows you? All the stuff that you could look for. There's a way to do that. Uh, maybe, maybe I don't know how to get there anymore. But 
It's just crazy. It's just crazy. The future is pretty crazy. It's very crazy. Oh no, it because Dre has different hair, it didn't detect her as the same person. That's so funny. Let me see if I could fix that. But yeah, I, I love it. It's great. It's so cool. Quack, 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 quack. I okay, I this is like I never got about this movie. It's not the same Mighty Ducks as the Anaheim Ducks. Why is it called this? But it's the same logo, eventually. Was this made for... Who t- Stop taking the remote. <laughs> um, I don't understand this movie. I just don't get it. I do not care at all about this movie. It actually makes me dislike hockey. Uh, yeah, honestly, it- like they cheat and stuff. Like it doesn't even doesn't even make any difference. Has other has um, what's that movie about arm wrestling? Oh yeah, the one with the man. Um, yeah, did that make you hate arm wrestling? Oh, it yeah, definitely for sure. What episode was that? Yep, so, something something. The movie with the man was episode something. Uh, let me look at that up. Look at that up. Do, 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 do. Oh, did we lose that episode? Maybe we lost that. Let's see. Johnny Mnemonic, Daddy Daycare. Episode 37, 34, 32, 31. Uh, or 70. What am I saying? 30, 70, 72. Oh, 69 is over the top. That's oh, over the top. 69. Nice. nice. <laughs> Man, what if we wrote? What if we record every episode seventy nine as sixty nine, and so we always had like, what's the best episode? It was episode sixty nine. That'd be great. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to be like that. It could just be like. It just be like that sometimes. Now, how it do you? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, just because uh, I'm going through. Uh, these photos looking for a specific photo uh you gonna post any on up down off dice instagram uh not probably not these because they're bad oh, okay. um we do post photos on our instagram though for listeners am i in am i the truman show <laughs> this is it you're not typically you're not doing the ad you have to do the ad <laughs> anyways <laughs> Back in 2014, I took a picture of these two cosplayers because they were cosplaying stuff from my, that I liked. Um, and I didn't know them. They were, I was just like, oh, cool. Can I take a picture of you? Right. That's what people do. Oh, my gosh. Because that's what people do. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. OK, so I just saw another picture. Same same situation. I just took a picture of people. These are people that I didn't know that I took pictures of that I'm friends with now. Small world. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, it's it's a it literally is a small world. Well, that's what I'm hoping for. I want to happen is I'm just going around taking photos. Right. And Google's doing like a face to tech thing. And eventually I'm like, I'm like, I go and I so you I like, oh, that's just someone in the background. I dismiss them. I just, you know, like whatever. And eventually you become friends with someone. You take a selfie with them and you tag them. You're like, OK, I'm going to share this photo with you. You mark their face in Google Photos as that person. And it's like, oh, let me go group that other photo of that same person. And you're like, why is this photo from five years ago? What? Like, it's going to be so crazy when you act or like or my other idea is like if I take a selfie and then so let's say like, I took a photo and like 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 your C Corell issue. Steve Carell's in your thing for some reason. For some reason, it's on your phone, whatever. You label it as Steve Carell, and then you hide it, because you could hide the face later. But what if you're walking around, you take a selfie, you're like, oh, let's take a selfie at Disneyland. You take a selfie, and it's like Steve Carell in this photo. And you're like, what? And you could turn around, and he's there. And it's like a facial <laughs> alert system. Yeah. Which is why I have uploaded all famous people to my Google Photos, and I've labeled them, <laughs> just in case. So I can just to <laughs> tag them in real time. Yeah, tag them in real it's time. It's like Pokemon Snap. It is. It's Pokemon Snap. But with famous people. What about like, because uh, you know, like whenever you take a selfie, if you're in someone else's random background photo, like they, I get it, detected. Yeah, well, you're gonna get detected. But like, they don't have a social network anymore. But what if, based off the randos in your photos, it tried to say recommended? F- Small. Oh, it's world. recommended so many friends. People. There used to be a thing like that. I thought, but it was like a big like people. It was before people were like really. St- 
like more serious about their privacy and then I think it like basically could not live in this people being hyper like scared Adam, are you okay? yeah <laughs> I'm scared I, of the robots. Yeah, I'm not. If you're nice to the robots, they'll be nice to you. That's my theory. <laughs> oh, I had this idea. I had this idea because people are like, oh, privacy, privacy, privacy. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but there's a lot of stuff where if it's not used maliciously, giving up some aspects of privacy to machines. Again, if it's not used maliciously, that's that's a, that's a, the hypothetical here. We are losing out on a lot of cool stuff like that idea of like this physical social graph. Like if I could share if everyone shared their position at all times and wasn't afraid of it, you have a lot of cool data there. But it can also be used in such bad ways that it's unpractical with this, you know, so I'm saying it's like when we when we take privacy, like we would put that in front of anything. You lose out on like cool features. There's like there's apps I've had features removed because it was like, well, Actually, we were like sharing what songs you're listening to all the time, but then we realized that like someone could isolate that and figure out, and it's like, oops, like you know, it sucks. So, but I had so I, did, I was thinking about that because I'm like, that sucks when features suck because like yeah, you got to share and do permission requests and whatever. I had an idea, but what about a town where instead of privacy, we're like, oh, what are you keeping secrets for? And there's no privacy in this town. And so, like, it, it, uh, everyone, every, everyone's on the same level of, like, no privacy. Because then you also think of the NSA thing. That's just the normal police guy. Just goes on your computer whenever he wants. Criminals would be caught instantaneously. But also, again, like, there's almost no privacy at all. <laughs> but everyone's super honest with each other because you can't really lie. So I think it, it would work. Everyone opts in into town it. that... Everyone yeah, opts, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone has to opt into it. So it would be like if you moved into this town, you'd have to like shed every, like you'd have to bring everything to light. But so in this case too, though, like let's say like no privacy, anyone could check anyone. You could open up. A, here's a cool thing: open up a map, all these dots on it. Every dot's a person, and you can see where everyone is at any time. So you'd be like, oh look, there's that friend there. There's downside though. If you don't want to hang out that person, they kind of know where you are. <laughs> that's the downside. Yeah. The other, that's yeah. the, but the upside though. You couldn't really, no one could really cheat because you'd be like, why is my significant other at this other person's house all the time when they said they weren't going to be there? Caught. Done. So that's the upside. So it's like, it's like no a one weird can, honesty. Yeah. yeah. It, no one can lie to each other, but it could also be, you know, but it could also be used against you if you're the liar. So you, it would make it virtually impossible to lie because, again, there's like almost like no privacy. But it would be like an interesting thing. Alternate. I want to write a book almost. Alternate society. Instead of people like being all like privacy focused, they're all anti secret. So that's what I'm saying. You just switch. You flip the terminology. You make privacy into a negative. And all of a sudden, in this society, it's like, well, why are you hiding? Why are you hiding? You murderer? You're, what are you hiding? Like, cause that's yeah. thing, people who commit crimes would automatically be trying to hide the crimes. It'd be very hard in this thing where light shines all. Um, something, something kills something. I like this idea a lot. We should uh, we should save it for a, a futurist podcast called Alternate Society or something. Well, we just put this out there, so someone's gonna steal it now. TM, TM, TM. TM. <laughs> this is how lawyers work. <laughs> by, by listening, you're, you're signing an NDA. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. They're still under the last NDA from, I think, oh, 79. Yeah, right. So if you listen up, if you listen to 79 at any point, you are now under NDA. That is also retroactive to all other episodes. So take that. <laughs> but not the idea of the podcast. You can share the podcast. Yeah, I think uh, that society would be cool. I I would love to see that in like a black mirror or in some form of media. It's almost one of those things where I'm like, it'd be interesting if that existed somewhere. I had an idea of, or my my other idea was it could be a test city somewhere and it could be a good reality show. Because you have no, no sense of privacy, you might as well just put it on TV, right? Like... That's what's what's the difference? Five hundred people and five thousand people watching. You know, like it'd be interesting. Experiment. So. It'd be an interesting experiment to see what happens. I mean, Google would totally. I mean, any any like media company could probably get it to happen, and the exchange would be like, "Hey, free internet, uh, subsidized housing. You got to agree to." This. 
<laughs> it's like it's like free internet, free food, stuff like that. You gotta give all your privacy, and you got a hot tub. What was that? What was that? It's like the last thing. <laughs> You're like, yeah, <laughs> Dude, nothing. Anything you know? for the hot tub. That's right, the hot tub. <laughs> Oh man! Who's this guy? I have a picture of. I'm I'm in I'm in the back seat with Jared and our other friend, and you guys are both sleeping, and it's very funny. We have a picture of me. I have a picture. Uh, yeah. And I'm sleeping. <laughs> yeah. <Me? laughs> oh, sorry, I got you confused with Derek. I have a picture of Derek. <laughs> Derek the owl. Derek the ally. Well, I like on Google Photos. It's kind of a game. I go to people and people and pets, and then it shows me people who I haven't labeled because they're like, like you said, they're like in backgrounds of photos, and it's yeah. just the cropping of their face. And I try to guess what photo that's from, and I click on it, and I'm always wildly surprised with that it cropped some <laughs> random person out of the corner of the photo in like the most obscure. Like, I, then I, I open up a photo. I'm searching for the guy. I don't know where the guy is. Wh why did you show me this photo? I don't know where he's from. He's in the background behind Salem Croft's finger. Oh, my gosh. He's so tiny. Why did you do that, Google? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny to me. Oh, man. This is a fun game. You know what isn't a fun game? What's Hockey. That? Hockey. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, honestly, they're doing... They would lose so bad, right? Like, the flying V is not an optimal formation for hockey. That seems terrible. I don't know anything about hockey. I've never seen anyone do a flying V formation. I don't think it would work at all. Me neither. I feel like you'd leave too many of your players. And I think you would leave your goal in a very vulnerable position. I have a lot of food pictures. That's fun. Oh, is this the one where the kid hurts his wrist because it comes up in the next movie because he can't play soccer? I mean, hockey, whatever, <laughs> whatever sport this is. Blocky. Blocker. Block, blob. Block, blocky? Yeah. Blocky. Minecraft? Terraria? We, they should just make a hockey MMO and everybody has to like skate around every, for everything. Hockey MMO and just skate around. How would it be? Oh, like <laughs> the there's no though. rink. The <laughs> world is just that's ice. That's just that's just skating around. <laughs> no, but everyone has hockey sticks, and your puck is like your ghost in death. Okay, you live the in the ghost your of hockey's past. <laughs> Whoa, that would be another good movie. Scrooge. You've wronged me. All right, I'll donate to the kids. That's not what it is about. Hockey. <laughs> hockey. Flying Vs are not good hockey maneuvers. Also, <laughs> Harry Potter killed me. <laughs> Why haven't you done anything about that? Oh, no. Oh, no, he's back. <laughs> Haunted again. I'm right, not uh, Haunter. That's a Pokemon. Oh, no. Okay, you have uh, you have three movies you get to combine to make an MMO. <laughs> you get every right associated with that movie. Like Article Thirteen basically doesn't. So, oh, so you got Harry Potter. Like, this is off-brand Michael J. Fox, and I'm welcoming you to this sport game. I get. Do and I get you're his... watching Disney Channel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Is that what you, uh, of, is that what you did when, when you were watching Disney Channel? <laughs> They're like, yeah. This, I'm Hannah Montana, and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're not wrong, Hannah. <laughs> what about Lots of it? Callbacks <laughs> from the previous episode. <laughs> I listened to that one. It's not the previous episode though. It's two episodes two. ago. Yeah. Mm, I see. But I, I listened to that one recently. A previous episode. Yeah. The best one, seventy nine. <laughs> the best part of waking up. Okay, this is also Queen. So what's with this movie? Do they win? They won. Oh, looks like they won. But it—they're using 
they use a lot of queen in this movie too. They use two queen. Is that weird? Two queen, oh two furious. Is that two weird? Queen, two furious. Is that weird though? I feel like that's weird. How do they get rights to that? This seems they like just buy them. It seems like it'd be super expensive for this crappy Maybe movie. Maybe back then they didn't have like ass cap and stuff like that. What? Was uh what was. Was, was he still alive? Was Freddie Mercury still alive back then? Ass cap. Yeah, isn't that the <laughs> what? Ass cap. American <laughs> Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers. Ass cap. Oh, one s, <laughs> right? Yeah. As backspace, 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 backspace. That's what I said. I just <laughs> I was like, what is ass cap? That's what I said. ASCAP. Yeah, with two S's. It's like, do I Google this? Can you Google it? I don't want to. I'm going to Google it. It's going to give me another Thor <laughs> Thanos situation. Yeah, exactly. Oh, ASCAP. wow. It's an urban dictionary term. Do you guys want to guess? Um, someone like, someone's stupid. Someone, sh- someone busts a cap in your ass. <laughs> uh, between those two, Jared's the closest. Do you nice. want a second guess now that you know? <sighs> when it when it goes through the butt without like wounding you, it just pierces really quick. <laughs> There's a lot of words that I'm giggling at. <laughs> um, <It> goes- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Baba. Uh, Jared, you want to try again? No, I'm going to stay. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's going to stay, folks. Uh, so let's reveal the answer. Uh, I lost the page. Uh, the same as a tramp stamp, a tattoo above a woman's butt in the small of her back. Huh. I would never have guessed that. Wait, it's a That's tramp sexist. stamp? It is a tramp stamp? Or is it, how is it different from a tramp stamp? Same as. Same, same as. as, okay. There's a guy at the, my gym. And he has like a tramp stamp, and I find it is really funny. <laughs> so I'm like, why would you get that? It looks like he's trying to have it lasered removed, I think, because it looks very oh, faded. No. But I'm just like, maybe he got like drunk. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, why does queen. it exist? It's like a tribal tramp stamp thing, and I'm just like, it's so funny to me. I'm like, oh yeah, this is like, I just like, there's a story there, right? There's got to be a story there. Can you go up to him and just be like, what's your story? I'm not gonna talk to anyone. You know that. We just found out I tonight that, that I'm an introvert. I can't do that. You should have, yeah. t- should have told Taro. me. You like you like Taro, Taro Boba. You're I'm an, an introvert. introvert. One of my uh, one of my one of my friends has a really dumb tattoo. Do you remember from Toy Story when Buzz Lightyear was in the dress with one arm? Oh no, uh, yeah. I thought you were gonna say the Andy Foot thing. I'm like, that's not too bad. That's yeah, like if a Toy Story was your childhood, or you know, yeah. or you feel oh, like yeah. you're just but like you're like the a soul of- trapped in a. <laughs> go on. <laughs> Like, no, you, you go on. You go on. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I was going to say, it's also on the bottom of your foot where no one can see it. So it's like, whatever. Oh, that would be so painful. Oh, my God. I, yeah, that is it painful hurt. or is it tickly? Uh, no, I think it'd be painful. I think it'd be tickly. You think so? I think maybe we'll find out for your birthday, Jared. No, <laughs> never. He, Don't you? It's gonna be it's gonna be of the thrust leches. Thrust leches cake. Yeah. This is this, the oh, this is the same song. They use this song right. I should mute it so we don't get flagged. Um, but yeah, the, the, I don't know. For I, the Queen thing is weird to me. Anyways, what were we talking about? Uh, ass cap. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tramp stamp. Tramp stamp. The gym. The gym. Uh, AI ethics. Uh, fart noise. You are really far back. Um, yeah, that's it, right? We're done. We're good. This is it. I guess yeah. so. I guess so. The thing, though, I have three ratings, so I'm willing to share. Can you please <laughs> send me one? <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm. Let me go ahead. Go ahead and do your oh, yeah. closing. Uh, I want to really fast thank Monk Turner for letting us use his song. I was listening to '79. I said his theme song or whatever. I think I've said that many times. I'm like, it's not his theme song, and it's not a theme song. It is a song that we use for our theme. I don't know why it was funny to me. Um, I want to thank him for his song that he lets us use as our theme song. And you you should go to bufferbuddies.com. 
Find out more information about the podcast. Tell your friends about it. You could go to bufferboys.com slash like 79 to get to episode 79. I try to keep that updated and up there so you could just keep going there quickly or just go to your favorite podcast player app or whatever and we're on pretty much all those things google podcasts itunes stitcher spotify we should be on all that good stuff so check that out um and go oh, also buffboys.com has a link to our discord and the reddit where you could suggest and vote on movies as well as uh, links to our Twitch and social media accounts where you can follow us on there, like up down off thigh stuff that me and Tiffany do. And yeah, that's kind of it. Tell your friends, please, 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 please. If you're going to start anyone new, I, like I said, I highly suggest personally, at least for me, episode 79. But if you have a better one, then tell your friends about the one that you, you recommend. Also, like I said, maybe give them a tip at listening at a higher sp- speed is going to save them from wasting two hours of their life on, on this podcast. Uh, that doesn't necessarily need to be two hours, besides the fact that movies are two hours long. Oh, and also we rate the movies now. We rate them on a <laughs> 10 out of 10 scale or a whatever, a 10 scale, and we, we rate them based on how we think they were for this and not the movies themselves. Okay, I'm going to go first. I'm going to go first. Okay. Uh, I give this movie a 10 out of 10 a male gaze. <laughs> Which what are, you, what are you trying to say here, huh? But when you look when 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 yeah. things are designed for for the eyes of a heterosexual, <laughs> cis, cisgender I think you need male. to edit your edit your the rating so that's in parentheses. <laughs> the male gaze when it's designed for heterosexuals. Okay. Um. Next. All right. Uh, I'm going to give it 10 out of 10 episode 79 references, but for buddy. <laughs> dot com. It's really good. Um, you really think it's a 10 out of 10? No, I don't. I hate this movie. Why I don't you it. rate it properly? Because <laughs> it's for the journey, not the movie. Actually, well, you know I mean, you're right. Mean, like, do you think it was good for this context? That's what I'm saying. Did it invoke conversation? Did you find it funny? Like, I mean, it's whatever well, you really want this rating to be. But I'm just saying, like, like my thing is like, I don't know. It was a lot of courtroom scenes. <laughs> it wasn't a good. If you're listening, it's not a good movie. Unless yeah, you like Queen. Hold on, hold on. Let me look at this up real fast. Mighty Ducks was the second one better, or am I? Or am I just like I'm a kid and nostalgia? And when, I'm a kid, second, and that's Michael J. Fox. Second, second one was worse. Second one was <laughs> slightly worse, not by much. The third, okay, the third one got even worse. Wow, <laughs> crazy. I thought that was Michael J. Fox. Um, I had my own rating and I forgot it. I'm just gonna take one oh, of these. Oh no! All right. <laughs> Uh, five out of ten Punnett squares, <laughs> and then um, we also have Sachiyami rated it seven out of ten blue balls. Great, great grab on that reference. And oh, and then Chris Alberti gives it ten out of ten CGI and Michael J. Fox, which is accurate. That's very good. I like that one a lot. I guess that's it, one. It looks like. I guess that's why he looks like <laughs> Michael J. Fox. It Can looks he, like Aranya hated the movie so much she didn't. She didn't yeah, she's like she doesn't zero out of want to. 10. She was actually probably like muted us and she's like, Hockey! <laughs> we will rock you! Rock you! Yeah, we will rock you! Flying We're the champions! We're champions.